I'm gonna start this video off by saying that I got the Starbucks drink for free because of my Gold Star Rewards program, so you could say that I'm in a pretty happy mood right now. Well, at least I think I do. It's Celine here and today I wanted to do another haul video and I know I just did one not too long ago on my channel about clothes and also a makeup one that was separate but I figured I got a few new things and a few other random things that I was really excited about so I figured you know what I'll just make a video and I know the majority of you guys do enjoy haul videos however if you don't like my haul videos then feel free to exit out this video because that's what this entire video is about. The first place that I wanted to show you guys was Lord & Taylor and I'm wearing the item that I bought there right now and it's by the brand Lucky Brand and I love Lucky Brand's jewelry so I got this silver and gold like leave bracelet um, it's like it's rusty gold and it's also silver but the cool thing about this is it's like it's kinda like what do you call it? not I keep wanting to say paperclip but it's not like the like the end itself like you have to press this like um, I don't know what to call it but you it's, I can't explain it, but if you guys can see that, when you press this open, it comes apart. But it's not like a regular bracelet where you have to find... I'm not good at explaining things, am I? But it looks like this, like, that's... It's a bracelet, I like it, okay, that's all that really matters here. So yeah, it's by the brand Lucky Brand, and it just goes with the majority of my clothes and my wardrobe. And plus, it's really easy to just layer on. And I just like the way it sounds, like, when I shake my arm like that, so... Yeah. <laughs> Next is Urban Outfitters. So yeah, I love shopping at Urban Outfitters, but their clothes are usually so expensive. But I got this item on sale, and it was originally $49. However, I got it for $19.99, I believe, without including tax or anything like that. So it's just this oversized, in a way, gray shirt. And it has bat wings, is that what you'd call it? But it has a cool like knit design on the side of that, if you guys can see that. And I just like the design on the front in, in general, and you would think that it's really baggy on me because I'm a petite person, but when I tried it on at the store, it didn't really, it wasn't over baggy, like it kind of did, it, I mean it was a little bit oversized, but it wasn't oversized to the point that you couldn't tell like where the outline of my body was, if that was kind of weird, but that's what I got from Urban Outfitters, and I like it, it's good for the spring, it's also just good year round, I know it's not that colorful, but you know what? I like the shirt, it was on sale, there is my reasoning. Next place is a store that I've never shopped at but I've always wanted to but I couldn't really bring myself to buy anything because it was always so expensive. But I went to Madewell and I kind of fell in love with the store. I've always been scared to go in because I felt like I would have this problem which actually did happen to me. I fell in love with nearly all of the clothes but then I looked at the price tag and then I just kind of started crying on the inside because everything was a little bit too expensive for me so I'm pretty sure it's too expensive for anyone unless you're filthy rich and you have money growing out of your trees in your backyard or something like that. But anyways, I got this denim jacket and I know you guys are thinking, really Celine, a denim jacket, you get that from anywhere but it's a different color blue. It's like an oversaturated but it's also like a dull blue at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. It looks really nice on, especially for me. And it looks really cool when you roll up the sleeves. And I also like it because the buttons are brown. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys if I can even find the buttons. Looks like this. And I think it says Madewell on the... No, just kidding. I totally lied. But it looks like this. Just like a denim jacket. But I like it. I got it in a size extra small. And I felt like it was pretty true to size. I tried the small. However, I felt like it didn't fit me as well as this extra small did. And I'm a pretty petite person. I'm about like 5 foot or so. So maybe 5'1". But I'm about that range. So... Yeah, I'm really excited to wear it for the spring on colder days, plus it's not really be, it's not even that warm here yet. It's still in like the 50s where I live, so yeah, I still have time to wear it, and plus I'm always I'm obviously gonna wear it next year as well, so I figured, you know what? YOLO, and plus I'm just really excited to have a clothing item from Madewell because all their stuff is just so adorable and so cute. So yeah. And then I want to show you guys one more jewelry item that I did not show, but I got this from IMATS, however, I felt like it wouldn't fits in the makeup haul video because it was a makeup haul video not a jewelry haul so it's this cool i'm going to insert a picture but it's this cool like hand bracelet basically what i do is i loop this i'm gonna let me just show you what it looks like the detailing first just like a nice golden color with beads twisted 
bracelet and I kind of wrap this around my finger twice and then I tie it and it's just like a hand like a cool like hand chain thing so basically you would just tie it here to your wrist size and it would look something like this so I thought it was really cool and I thought it would be nice for a few lookbooks or days where I feel like dressing up a little bit more so that is it for um I was about to say makeup but that's it for the clothing and jewelry section of this haul okay now on to the last section of this haul it's books I bought some books at Barnes and Noble if you guys did not know this about me I love to read I anything to do with reading except homework like history books or something I don't really enjoy that but I mean just enjoying my young adult novels and things like that. I just love reading. I've always loved reading when I was a little girl and I still do to this day. And I know it's not really a common thing to show your book hauls in a clothing haul, but you know what? Whatever, I love to read. I'm not gonna hide the fact that I love to read because it's nothing to be ashamed about. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna show the few books that I got at Barnes & Noble. And the first book is a book that I started reading last night and it's called Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins. And this is a New York Times bestseller who's no this is the author of a new york times bestseller the hex hall series i don't know what that is but anyways i heard a couple of booktubers talking about this and they were raving about it. it's like one of the booktubers book of the months in a way so i figured you know what i want to try it out it sounded really interesting and i kind of kind of fell in love with it not only for the plot and just everything that's going to happen to the main character in this book but also the cover itself has this like matte finish. If you guys can see this, like this is like shiny here, but then it's just like this matte, really nice finish of the um, hardcover. So I figured, you know what, I'm gonna get the hardcover, whatever. And so basically it's about this girl who's really popular and it's her homecoming night and she wants to go to the bathroom to put on lip gloss or something. And then this supernatural occurring happens. I'm not gonna give away too many details because if you guys are interested, I don't wanna ruin anything for you guys. But it's really, really good. I would suggest reading the summary, or not the summary, but like a quick um, few pages of it on barnesandnoble.com or goodreads.com because they usually do give like good detailed reviews on there. So, oh, I just dropped like half of my books. <laughs> Next is a book called Going Vintage by Lindsay Leavitt or Levitt, and it looks something like this. And I read a little bit of the back of it, and it sounded interesting. So it says, when Mallory's boyfriend Jeremy cheats on her with an online girlfriend, Mallory decides the best way to de-Jeremy her life is to de-modernize things too. Inspired by a list of goals her grandmother made in 1962, Mallory swears off technology and returns to a simpler time when boyfriends didn't cheat with computer avatars. And then it just gives you like a list of things and I thought it sounded pretty good and funny because you know it's everything right now is about technology and the internet and doing more things with technology and updating and modernizing society so I figured you know what? It sounded like a funny book because it just sounded like a fun like quick read when I'm bored and I don't really feel like reading a heavy topic of a book so that's that. Another one is a romantic book and it's called My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. Looks like this and I believe it's about how many pages? Um, if you guys were interested I mean. It's 394 pages so basically 400. So I'm just gonna read a little bit of the back to you guys so you guys know what the book is somewhat about. So it says on one summer night everything changed. Life at Samantha Reed's home is neat and clean and orderly, precisely planned by her local politician mother. Next door at the Garrett's, things are loud, messy, and irresistible. And when gorgeous Jace Garrett climbs the trellis outside her bedroom and enters her life, she finds herself falling passionately in love with him and everything he brings with him. The only hitch is she's got to hide it from her mother. Then something unthinkable happens and Samantha is suddenly faced with an impossible decision. Which perfect family will save her or is it time she saved herself? And it gave like a bunch of good reviews from like all these different authors that are best selling on the New York Times. And I decided, you know what, I'll just try it out. It sounds like also like a nice, um, again, quick read, like a romantic quick read when I'm feeling like I need a boyfriend or something like that. Then, you know, books are always there for me, even when people aren't. Yeah. Last but certainly not least for this entire haul and book haul, it's this book called The Rulers and it's by Stacey Cade and it looks like this. The cover really brought me into it because it looks interesting because all these people don't have faces but then she does and they're all wearing the same exact outfits and I think it's kind of a dystopian novel because it gives you like a list of um, five things and I'll read the five things. It says one, never trust anyone. Two, remember they are always searching. Three, don't get involved. Four, keep your head down. Five, don't fall in love. Again, I can see the dystopian society, like the dystopian setting just sinking in, like girl, dystopian, everything's like in the future or either like really in the past, but I'm guessing in the future because just kind of, I get that kind of vibe from the, the 
cover of the book and I know don't judge a book by its cover but I also read a little bit of it so that's also why I got it and it says five simple rules Ariane Tucker has followed them since the night she escaped from the, genetic, from the genetics lab where she was created, the result of combining human and extraterrestrial DNA. Ariane's survival and that of her adoptive father depends on her ability to blend in among the full-blooded humans in small Wisconsin town to hide in plain sight from those who seek to recover their lost and expensive project. But when a cruel prank at school goes awry, it puts her in the path of Zane Bradshaw, the police chief's son and someone who sees too much, someone who really sees her. After years of trying to be invisible, Ariane finds the attention frightening and intoxicating. Suddenly, nothing is simple anymore, especially not the rules. So, I just felt like it would be... I got a wide range of books, if you guys couldn't tell. So I got a romantic one, I got this dystopian one, I got just a regular like fun read about this girl just demodernizing her life, and I got this one about this popular girl who's like all girly, who then suddenly goes like all cool and like fighter and like, you know things like that. So anyways, that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want me to do more book reviews and like book related videos, comment down below because I don't know if I will because I don't know if you guys would enjoy them as much as my regular beauty videos. So and I'm not saying I'm going to completely convert my channel to books and everything, but if you guys want to see an occasional random video from time to time about my favorite books, like what I'm reading, then comment down below. And yeah, I believe that's it for this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye everyone!